Hi, how are you today? How's everything going? Thanks for joining me. Today I uh, wanted to talk about creative energy and I want to make this a regular thing on Mondays for those of you who are struggling with uh, creativity and finding your creativity, using your creativity, contacting your creativity. And I want to start at the first step that I'm going to sort of share my journey, how I um, contacted my creativity and what happened after that. So that was the first step. And I can only share from my experience of, of what I've been through and what, I, what has happened in, in my life as a creative and a spiritual and intuitive person. Um, so I hope that that can help you in some way. And perhaps um, my intention really to make this video is to inspire you in some way to contact your creative energy, um, become aligned with it, recognize it. It's really, really important to, to recognize what it is. So if you are at the start of your journey with your creativity and you're starting to realize that you are a creative person, then it's really important to form a relationship with your creativity. Now that may sound a bit weird, but to personify it like that and to give it an identity is I think really, really important because otherwise it can slip away. And in my experience, um, you know, from very young, I used to draw a lot and it was quite instinctive. And you may have heard of me talking in the past about um, creativity and your inner child and childhood experiences. So when I was young, I didn't, I was in the creative energy, but I didn't know I was in there. And then um, I followed that quite um, subconsciously and I, end, I ended up going to university and um, majoring in art and fine art. And then I was inspired to teach others, so I became an art teacher. And so in all of this journey, I, I hadn't really contacted my creative energy whether that's hard to believe or not. It, it sounds a bit odd to me now, but it, it's the truth. I hadn't actually contacted it and made a relationship with it, acknowledged it, um, um, got in touch with the energy. I'm going to be pausing a lot because the creative energy, in my experience, is not something that you can put into words clearly. It's something that you feel. It's something that you do. It's something that you're in you're in the energy. It's almost like, for me, it feels like being in the zone when you, um, if you do exercise and stuff like that, it's about being in that zone. It's a different zone. <laughs> it's a creative zone, but it is that um, feeling. So I'm going to allow myself to pause throughout this video because it's not something that um, is easy to talk about because words can be so limiting words can be limiting but I'm going to try and until I um, can perfect talking about it because this is, this is one of my challenges and one of my passions is to help people to contact their creative energy I guess I've been doing it for over 17 years with my students helping them contact their creative energy but um, I haven't spoken about it they've just been in it like I, sh I show them how to do something or inspire them with a technique and then I let them go and um, facilitate their own experiences with contacting their creative energy but we don't actually talk about the act of contacting that energy so that is something that I'm going to allow myself the give myself permission to to pause a lot more than I usually do in my videos because I need to contact mine <laughs> and then Try and translate it into words, yeah? Because essentially what we're talking about is when you contact your creative energy, it's something in your subconscious. It's deep, deep down and it resides in your subconscious and it, it, it's allowed to be released and it's released from your act, your act of engaging in something creative. And I'm not just talking about picking up a pencil and drawing as, as I do, but I'm talking about engaging in something creative in the way that you're thinking, cognitively contacting a part of that creative part of your brain that enables you to do things like become a creative problem solver as a mother. 
to be a work colleague that works well under pressure because you creatively come up with ways to find solutions. You know, creative energy is something that um, in essence uh, helps us to solve problems, helps us to solve issues. The way that I use it as an artist is to help me to communicate that land that I feel inside because my creative energy um, I've become so familiar with it that it's like another world it's like another realm it's like another sense so you know my sight my my smell my touch taste um, hearing and then creative energy it's almost like on another plane it's not about the five elements or the earthly realm yeah <laughs> it's quite deep it's another energy and it comes for me at the moment in my journey and this may change it comes from a certain place and the first time that I contacted that was with meditation so um, sitting and meditating um, if you haven't got any experience meditating there are so many YouTube um, clips that you can uh, follow um, I've done a bit of meditation things but I don't have them published at the moment. I've got um, recordings and things. That, and if you want to meditate with me on guided meditation, just personal message me and I'll pull things out of my archives for you, recordings that I've done so we can sit together um, and you can put me on, on, on your phone and, and headphones and, and just sit and we can meditate together in that way. Um, but if you already have your own technique to, to meditate, sit with yourself if you want I invite you to sit with yourself and invite the creative energy in you to present itself to introduce itself to to come forward so that you can learn to form a relationship with the creative energy because like any good friendship or relationship when you form a relationship you, you can call on them you know think of that friend that you can always call on um, that's going to be there for you night and day um, or your partner if you're um, in a relationship with someone you know who's got your back that's what you can form with your creative energy that's the sort of strength and bond of relationship that you can form once you contact your creative energy and so the first step would be to meditate now I know this isn't for everybody, not everybody likes to meditate or is called to meditate so I may also suggest journaling, writing, um, having a dream journal because it's all part of that subconscious level, yeah? Having a dream journal so when you wake up in the morning next to your bed you can have a, a journal that you can um, write down your dreams and you might get images or pictures that you're inspired to draw from or it might stir ideas um, even in your daily life how to creatively um, deal with work or, or your health or your life yeah um, and the other thing that I would suggest for us all is to carve out some time to be creative so that you can you know start to uh, make some time hi Linda how are you thanks for joining us here to make some time for yourself to to be creative say saying to yourself in the conscious mind this is my time to be creative so that I can contact my creative self and um, hi Linda <laughs> um, if you're wanting to watch the start of the video I was sort of talking about um, the creative energy being in the subconscious and contacting it is not about words contacting it is about giving yourself that space to invite your creative energy to come in and I guess that's why people call it a muse you know you might have heard of my creative muse my inspiration it's things that we really um, that are a part of us that we can communicate through a creative way let me give you an example when when I used to live, I used to live in the bush, well, sorry, if you're not from Australia, you don't know what the bush means, in the forest. <laughs> I used to live in a forest, well, on the edge of a forest. I had a house on the edge of a forest and I used to carve. I used to do um, limestone carvings and um, 
when I'd get stuck or when something wasn't going right or I was in my head, what I would do is I would just stop and I'd get my dog and we'd go out into the forest and, and walk. And it's just, for me, that was a form of meditation as well. It's just walking and just looking and just clearing that, clearing your mind. And once when I was in the forest, I realized that I had too much junk in my head. That's why my sculptures weren't working out the way that, that I wanted them to. And I was getting frustrated because I had a lot of stuff in my head blocking my creative energy. But once I got out to the forest, and it was just this release, being able to release uh, thoughts, ideas, concepts, and then just looking at nature and um, being inspired again. So when I went back into the studio, I knew exactly what I needed to do because the inspiration uh, had room to move and room to communicate with me in this body, in my physical body, in through my hands, what needed to come out, what, what I wanted to come out. And it wasn't something that was like, I'm talking about another entity coming in and, you know, I'm channeling um, what they want. It was more about, you know, what's inside of me in terms of creative energy. I don't see it as separate from me. Um, if anything, it's a really, really strong part of my spiritual growth. And so to have that in union, I need to be clear. So meditation, journaling, um, having a dream journal, walking, being in nature, being in a bath, you know, um, cleansing, meaning like uh, smudging, um, any ceremonies that you do, crystals, all of those things are tools to help us to clear the clutter of our minds and allow the space for the creative energy because the creative energy is in touch with the divine. It is the source that, it's almost like the gift that is given to us from source that helps us to um, unite with the divine. Um, in essence, that's what creative energy feels like to me. And, and your experience may be s diff different or separated from the divine in some way, but I've spent, oh, I'm gonna say my age now. <laughs> I spent 46, well, I was 45 because I would have been about one or two. No, I think I was about three when I, I started to um, realize that, that there was a thing with creative energy. And the reason why I can say three is because I have vivid memories of being three and noticing things visually. And I still have those memories. Um, so it's been over 40 years that I've had time to... Uh, have a relationship with my creative energy so I can say personally that my creative energy is connected to the, the divine it's a way of the divine contacting me and helping me to form the the macrocosm of, of what is happening in in my life my life purpose and it's really helped me to see the reason why I was here so that wouldn't have come through if I didn't meditate I wouldn't have had that connection with direct connection if, if I didn't meditate. But I'm not saying that you need to do that. I'm just asking that you give yourself that space if you're interested in contacting your creative energy is to give yourself that space, whatever it is that you need to do to move the clutter of the mind out and allow the space for your creativity to come in. Another way of looking at it would be allowing your higher self to speak to you and that can be through creative means um, and like I said before it's not only about drawing painting or sculpting like what I do but it can also be about um, scrapbooks the way you apply your nail polish the way you, you um, design your house the way you clean the way you hold a glass the way you um, treat others all of that is part of that creativity that we have inside and it's a part of who you are and so the way that I want to give you today is the first step is to carve out the time to be able to form a relationship with your beautiful creative energy and I hope that this video has helped you to see the connection that you do have with your creative energy and that it is just there and if it's dormant it can wake up if it's awake may it wake up even more and may you give yourself that space to do that so thank you for um, giving me this space to share that with you and um, let me know in the comments if it has inspired you in some way 
and what it is that you uh, were wanting to do, um, what it is that you may do to open up the creative channels and it's almost like portals I guess open up the portals for your creative energy to come through and if you're having any problems with that please contact me here on the comments um, if you have any questions or things coming up and I'll do my best in my 40 years experience <laughs> with creativity to to help you through that as well until tomorrow tomorrow is um, Tuesday here in Australia and I'm going to share with you a little about the tarot a lot of you have been heard, heard me talk about the tarot um, cards and I'm just going to share with you more on a personal level with um, the meaning of, of the tarot and what it does for me and how it helps me in my creativity as well so until tomorrow I'll see you bye bye Mwah.